guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla if you're new here. This video is going to be a bookstore vlog slash mini book haul. I did go to different places. If you would like to see where I went and what books I got, then just keep watching. the 40 ounce tumbler that everybody has. I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's a bit much in terms of size, but I could probably use it for the gym. So these are all the books I got. I didn't go too crazy because I wanna control myself a little bit. I have a big TBR for April. I have like seven or eight books. I figured I should get through those before I go crazy hauling books. The first book I got is the Court of Frost and Starlight. I finished the Court of Wings and Ruin back in January and it was a good book. I did like it however it did put me in a reading slump like a really bad reading slump to the point where I didn't read a book for like a month because it took me so long to finish it. There was a lot of times where I would get bored like I said it was great. A lot of politics talking about war and whatever as the name suggests. However I almost gave up on finishing the series because I did watch a few videos and a lot of people said you really don't need to read the last two books like the first three were like the main thing and I think she's gonna come out with another one and I am gonna be interested in reading that so I might as well. I did start reading this book. I am on page 57 which is chapter 6 but let me tell you I understand why everybody said they did not like this book. I don't understand the point of it. I know I'm only six chapters in or five chapters in but it's so boring, nothing is going on. It's just kind of talking about Feyre and Reese and Cassian and all of them, like right after the war and how they're dealing with it. It's just kind of almost repetitive as well. I don't know. I'm gonna push through it, but I definitely paused for a minute. I put it down and I'm reading something else right now, which is part of my TBR. This is the first book I got. I needed to get it because it was part of my TBR and I figured I would read it right away since it is a short book, but it's not fun. The second book I got is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This is everywhere. This is a thriller, I believe. This is everywhere. This is about a couple and here it says things have been wrong with mr and mrs wright for a long time every anniversary the couple exchanged traditional gifts and adam's wife writes him a letter she never lets him read until now 
Self-confessed workaholic Adam Wright has face blindness. He can't even recognize his own wife. And Amelia is sick of feeling unseen. When Adam and Amelia went a weekend way to Scotland, it might be just what their marriage needs. This weekend may make or break their marriage, but they didn't randomly win this trip. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. I picked up this thriller because I haven't read a thriller in a while. I'm really excited to see what this is about and see how I like it. So the next book I got is... Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. Everybody is obsessing or was obsessing over this book when it came out. I did read Things We Never Got Over and contrary to popular opinion, I actually did not love that book. These books are hefty as is Things We Never Got Over and honestly for like the first half of the book I was really enjoying it. I can tell you what happened from start to finish and I was really enjoying it but I feel like they're too long. Like the last... 200 or 150 pages are absolutely unnecessary in my opinion and I was getting bored I remember I was falling asleep while reading the things we never got over so I did rate it two stars because it was just dragging and I was like I cannot do this <laughs> but I do want to see I want to give it another chance and see if I'll like this book a lot of people love it so you know maybe I was just I don't know maybe I was sleepy most of the time when I was picking that book up, I was reading it at nighttime most of the time. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to see if maybe it was just my circumstances at the moment that didn't make me absolutely enjoy it. This does tell a story about Nash and Lena. Nash is, um, what's his name? I forgot what the brother's name is. It's been a while since I read this book. This does look like it's dual perspective, a Nash and Lena. Let me get the other book because I, I totally forgot. This is the first book, if you don't know, it's Things We Never Got Over, and this is about Knox and Naomi. How could I forget? It's the Knock em Out series. Look how beautiful these books are. I love them. That's another reason why I got them because, or I got this one even though I didn't love this one because they just look so pretty on my bookshelf. This does tell a story of Nash, which he is a cop and he is Knox's brother. This story is about Naomi and Knox, Morgan, and this is Nash and Lena, which I believe Lena is Knox's ex-girlfriend if I'm not mistaken, which is a little weird. This book talks about him after he got shot and romance with Lena. It says two bullets put a dent in that southern charm but thankfully spared his spectacular rear end. He's got his hands full with the man who shot him still on the loose healing wounds and citizens that think of the law as more of a guideline. Throw in the gloomy mood that clings to him and the last thing he needs is a smart mouth gorgeous new neighbor making him feel things he doesn't have the energy to feel. Lena Solavita has her reasons for being in town. She's on a mission and the fewer people that find out about it the better. She does her best work alone and as soon as she finds what she's after, she's hitting the road for the next solo adventure. Too bad the town of Nakamount has other ideas. Soon Lena finds herself sucked into small town life. Dog sitting, saying yes to bridesmaid dress, listening to the sexy AF chief of police service himself in the shower. But when Nash finds out why she's there, flirty friends become furious enemies. The sparks flying don't know the difference between lust and hate. When danger forces them together, it's only a matter of time before they both get burned. So this kind of gives me vibes of like Naomi and Knox because she it was in the same small town and she wasn't really expecting to meet him there or meet anybody at, at that. And she kind of got forced into situations, a lot of unexpected things happened and she ended up with Knox. So this kind of gives me similar vibes, I wouldn't be surprised if it's pretty similar. They were also grumpy sunshine. It looks like they're friends to lovers to enemies according to the back. So I am curious. Maybe I will like this book better than the first one. I would love to reread this one and give it a second chance, but I'm not about to go through almost 500 pages just to read another 500. But yeah, I am excited to try it out and see if maybe it's better than the first one. We'll see. Did it get Twisted Love, which I'm sure you've seen everywhere or you've already read it. 
This is part of the Addictive Twisted series. Everybody loves these books. For a long time, I kind of was not drawn to them just because I know that they're a little intense and I'm, I don't think I'm really into those type of books. Maybe I will like it. It says Alex Volva Volkov is a devil blessed with the face of an angel and cursed with the past he can't escape. Driven by a tragedy that has haunted him for most of his life, his ruthless pursuits for success and vengeance leave little room for matters of the heart. When he's forced to look after his best friend's sister, he starts to feel something in his chest. A crack, a melt, a fire that could end his world as he knew it. Ava Chen is a free-spirited, trapped by nightmares of a childhood she can't remember. But despite her broken past, she's never stopped seeing the beauty in the world, including the heart beneath the icy exterior of a man she shouldn't want. Her brother's best friend, her neighbor, her savior, and her downfall. Theirs is a love that was never supposed to happen, but when it does, it unleashes secrets that could destroy them both and everything they hold dear. So I've just seen this so many times that now I'm just intrigued to start the series and check it out myself. So... Yeah, that is something that I'm going to start. Next, I got another book from a series, which is The Summer I Turned Pretty, and this is by Jenny Han. <laughs> and this is also another popular series that everybody raves about. It's a short, quick book. Those are always good because you get through them quickly and they can help you get out of a reading slump. I do have quite a few bigger books that I'm going to read in April, so... This will be a good a little refresher. It says, Some summers are just destined to be pretty. When each summer begins, Belly leaves her school life behind and escapes to Cousins Beach, the place she has spent every summer of her life. Not only does the beach house mean home away from home, but her favorite people are there. Susanna, her mother's best friend, and her sons, Conrad and Jeremiah. Belly has been chasing Conrad for as long as she can remember, and more than anything, she hopes that this summer will be different. Despite distractions from a new guy named Cam and lingering looks from Conrad's brother, Jeremiah, Belly's heart belongs to Conrad. Will he offer his to her? Will this be the summer that changes everything? It sounds like a really cute book. I figured I'd pick it up. I've been seeing this since like the beginning of my book journey on the shelves, and I'm like, you know what? Let me see what it's about, because everybody has read this book, so... And then the last two books I got are super exciting because I am going to start the Shatter Me series. And this was actually not part of my TBR, but I kind of want to read it this month or I want to start this series. I know this is a dystopian fantasy, if I'm not mistaken. Everybody loves these books. It says, the moon understands what it means to be human, uncertain, alone, cratered by imperfections. No one knows why Juliet's touch is fatal, but the reestablishment has plans for her, plans to use her as a weapon, but Juliet has plans of her own. After a lifetime without freedom, she's finally discovering a strength to fight back for the very first time and to find a future with the one boy she thought she'd lost forever. In the electrifying first book in the Shatter Me series, Harry Mafi presents a riveting dystopian world, a thrilling superhero story, and an unforgettable heroine. That's pretty much all I've heard about this book, that this girl, basically, if you touch her, people die. So or if she touches them, they die. So that's really all I know about this series. I haven't really watched vlogs on it or anything to know exactly what it's about, but I know there's like quite a few books in this series, so it must be great. <laughs> in the front it says, my touch is lethal and it's crossed out, and then it says, my touch is power. The last book I got is The Fine Print, another book that's part of a series and this is the dreamland billionaire series this is the first book the fine print by lauren asher this is also all over the place it tells the story of rowan and dara so i guess she's his employee and he's a billionaire that's exciting to read i wonder how this goes let me see how many pages this is so 427 pages quite a thick book i know the last one came out recently I really like these covers. They look like blueprint. Super excited. That's all I got for this mini book haul. As you saw, I went to Target and I did go to like a local bookstore, which is really, really cute. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.